सो हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज तेजस एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल सेल्फ स्टडी विथ तेजस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न क्लास सिक्स एन एस ओ चैप्टर एट फन विथ मैग्नेट सो स्टे टिल दी एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट सो चैप्टर नंबर एट फन विथ मैग्नेट्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दी गिवन डायग्राम्स कंपासेस आर यूज टू प्लॉट द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अराउंड अ बार मैग्नेट विथ पोल्स मार्क एन फॉर नॉर्थ एंड एज फॉर साउथ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डायग्राम्स करेक्टली शोज द एक्सपेक्टेड फील्ड पैटर्न सो कंसिडर दैट दिस इज अवर मैग्नेट एंड दिस इज द नॉर्थ एंड दिस इज द साउथ पार्ट सो इफ दिस इज नॉर्थ देन साउथ विल बी ऑन इट्स अपोजिट साइड विच मीन्स अवर करेक्ट आंसर हेयर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर डी नाउ सेकेंड क्वेश्चन थ्री मैग्नेट्स एक्स वाई एंड जेड वर ड्रिप्ड वन बाय वन इन अ हीप ऑफ आयरन फिलिंग्स फिगर शोज द अमाउंट ऑफ द आयरन फिलिंग्स टेक टू दैम एट द एंड द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दीज मैग्नेट्स विल बी इन द ऑर्डर सो हेयर एक्स इज हैविंग द मोस्ट आयरन फिलिंग स्टिक डॉन एट आफ्टर दैट वाई एंड द लिस्ट इज ऑन जेड विच मीन्स अवर करेक्ट आंसर हेयर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर ए सो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री अ स्टूडेंट हंग मैग्नेट ऑन अ स्प्रिंग कॉइल एज शोन इन द गिवन डायग्राम नेक्स्ट ही हेल्ड अनादर मैग्नेट अंडर दी फर्स्ट मैग्नेट एज शोन हियर वॉट हैड कॉज द स्प्रिंग कॉइल टू एक्सटेंड सो द स्प्रिंग इज कनेक्टेड टू मैग्नेट पी एंड इफ मैग्नेट पी अट्रैक्ट सॉरी मैग्नेट क्यू अट्रैक्ट मैग्नेट पी द स्प्रिंग स्प्रिंग कॉइल विल बी एक्सटेंडेड विच मीन्स अवर करेक्ट आंसर हेयर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर डी सो फोर्थ क्वेश्चन लीजा डिड एन एक्सपेरिमेंट टू फाइंड आउट विच पार्ट ऑफ द मैग्नेट अट्रैक्ट द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ पेन्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोविंग रीडिंग्स मे बी करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग द नंबर ऑफ पेन्स अट्रैक्टेड बाय डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द मैग्नेट सो हियर आर द पोल्स ऑफ द मैग्नेट विच अट्रैक्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द आयरन फिलिंग्स एंड हियर इज द मिडल पार्ट ऑफ द मैग्नेट विच अट्रैक्ट लीस्ट ऑफ द आयरन फिलिंग्स बिकॉज द अट्रैक्शन फोर्स हियर इज वेरी लो सो अवर करेक्ट आंसर here could be option number a because here the poles are uh, have given the biggest number which is 8 and the middle part ha is having 1 and 2 which means our correct answer here will be option number a so fifth question to demagnetize magnet using the heating method which of the following is the correct step a heat the magnet to become red hot and allow it to cool in the east west direction so this is our correct answer because magnet always rest in a north south direction and we uh, if we rest it in a east west direction it will be demagnetized so the correct answer here will be option number a so sixth question ashwini magnetize a piece uh, of iron rod using the stroking method as shown in the diagram which part of the iron rod becomes the north seeking pole so here we can see that the magnet is landing on q and lifting up from r which means after stroking it 30 to 40 times q will become the north seeking pole and r will become the south seeking pole so they have asked for now north seeking pole which means our correct answer here will be option number b so seventh question what will happen when the three bar magnets are hung in the manner as shown below so here we can see that magnet x and y will attract each other as s and uh, sorry south and north pole attract each other and south and south pole repel each other so our correct answer here will be option number d eighth question magnet lose their property significantly if they have dropped from a height repeatedly which means our correct answer here will be option number d ninth the north pole of a bar magnet picks up an iron nail which of the following options is correct regarding the poles induced in the nail so in the nail both uh, a no the north pole and south pole are induced which means our correct answer here will be option number c so 10th question when in which of the following a permanent magnet is used so in magnetic door catches permanent magnet is used in loudspeaker permanent magnet is used and in compasses also permanent magnet is used which means our correct answer here will be option number d all of these now 11th question how many north and south poles are there present in uh, if a magnet is broken into six pieces without loss of magnetism so considering this is a magnet and we broke up in, 
into six pieces. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the north. This is south. North, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, and north, south. Which means total twelve uh, uh, co uh, poles are formed here. Which means our correct answer here will be option number B. Now twelfth question: Two magnets are placed in a container as shown in the figure by some external force. What would happen if the force on magnet P is removed? So we know that like poles repel each other, which means magnet P will repel magnet Q. So the correct answer here will be option number B. Thirteenth question: Read the given statements and select the correct option. Statement one. When a horseshoe magnet is brought close to a pile of iron fillings, more fillings will get attracted to the U-shaped part of the magnet. So this is false because most of the iron fillings uh, at are attracted towards the pole of the magnet. Now statement two: Horseshoe magnet has only one pole, that is U-shaped part. So this is incorrect statement because a horseshoe magnet has two poles. So uh, this is also false. Now, which uh, which, uh, which means our correct answer here will be option number D. Both statements one and two are false. Now, fourteenth question: Which of the following statement is incorrect? So option number A: To increase the magnetic strength, increase the number of strokes uh, while creating magnets so yes this is a correct statement now b to increase the number of uh, magnetic strength sorry to increase the magnetic strength increase the number of coils around the nail so yes this is a correct statement now see magnetic force is a pulling force only so this is incorrect because magnetic force is a pulling and pushing force also which means our correct answer here will be option number c Now fifteenth question: Which of the following is the best way to uh, store slash keep magnets? So they should be attracted to a magnetic material to its poles, which means our correct answer here will be option number D. So achievers section question number sixteen: Arun suspended a bar magnet on a string as shown in the given diagram. He brought Three bar shape objects P, Q, and R towards the bar magnet. Arun placed the ends X and Y of each object near the north pole of the bar magnet and recorded his observations in the table as given below. So object end X brought near to the end pole or end Y brought near to the end pole. So if object P is brought Towards the uh, end pole, so end pole is repelled, which means it is like uh, it is like pole because like pole repel each other, which means X is N, and which means this Y will be S, and N Y brought near to end pole, end pole attracted. So yes, this is correct because unlike poles attract each other, which means first one is correct. Now Q and pole attracted. So this is object Q and N pole is attracted, which means this could be S because a, a, a south pole and north pole attract each other, and N pole repelled, which means north and north uh, repel each other, which means Y is N. So these both are correct, which means our correct answer here will be option number C. Because in R and pole remain stationary and N pole remain stationary, so they have said that this is a magnet and magnet if brought near to a magnet never stay stationary, which means our correct answer here will be option number C only. Now seventeenth question: When Asha suspended four bars one, two, three, and four. Of different materials from a pole and brought the north pole of a bar magnet near part P and Q of each bar one by one, as shown in the figure. Then the observations she recorded are as follows: Which of the following sets correctly represents metal bar one, two, three, and four? So here we can see that in uh, bar one. Magnet and part P repel, and magnet and part Q attract, which means it is a 
magnet and after that in bar 2 nothing happened nothing happened which means it is not a magnetic material it could be a wooden bar and now in third attract repel which means here also uh, it is a magnet and in bar 4 attract and attract which means it is not a magnet it is a magnetic material which could be a iron bar which means our correct answer here would be option number a so 18th question Bina spread some iron fillings uniformly on a sheet of paper now she plays the given magnet on the sheet which of the following bar graphs correctly represent the number of iron fillings take to various parts of the magnet so we know that the attraction force is the most on the poles of the magnet and is the least at the middle part of the magnet so if we see in the options 1 and 4 are poles so there should be a high number of iron fillings attracted there so which is in option number a and in the middle part which is 2 and 3 least number of iron fillings are attracted so uh, they should be very less in quantity so correct answer here will be option number a a 19th question a plotting compass is moved slowly towards the metal bar x along the path shown by dotted arrow the final position p of the compass needle is shown what can you conclude about the bar x based on the diagram above so as the needle is attracted towards the bar so it can be a magnet or a magnetic material but there is no evidence of repulsion to confirm that it is a magnet which means our correct answer here could be option number d now 20th question the given diagram shows a magnet being used to pick up a steel bar the north pole of the magnet is close to the center of the steel bar as shown in the given figure what are the poles induced in the steel bar at x y and z so y is attracting north pole which means it could be the south pole and which means uh, x is north pole and z is also north pole which means our correct answer here will be option number b north south north so if you liked our video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you